Mikey, you checking your tire pressure there? Yeah, I'm just changing my tire pressure to adjust for inflation, you know? Mike, I'm pretty sure they're talking about money when they're saying that. You know what, Tor? You are absolutely correct. What Tor is referring to is inflation in the economy. You've seen it, I've seen it, and I'm sure you're trying to keep an eye on how much money you're spending on your mountain bike. That's right. Today, we're going to be looking at your best bang for your buck dropper post, and we're going to be going around everyone at the Losco and seeing what they think is the best value dropper post on the market. So let's get asking. Let's see what they think. All right, today we're here with Russ and BJ, a couple of our mechanics here at the Losco, and we're gonna see what they think about our best value dropper post that we offer here. BJ, what do you think? Uh, I'm gonna go with the one-up post, um, just because it's got the most, uh, the broadest range of stack heights, drops. You can get it from, I think, down to a 90 all the way up to a 240, mm -hmm. um, kind of everywhere in between. And so yeah, it's also super easy to work on. Perfect. Russ, what do you think? Uh, I'd agree, I'd, I run the one-up myself. It's been great. I think as long as you check the pressure and do what they say to do out of the box, it's been super reliable. And for you know, 200 to 220 bucks, uh, you can't really beat it. There you go. One up dropper post. All right, Colt. Best bang for your buck dropper post. What do you think? I like the one up post. I use the 210 millimeter. Perfect. All right, Brody. What do you think is the best bang for your buck dropper post? Uh, quick release. Hey Ben, uh, sorry to bug you, but hey. what do you think is the best bang for your buck dropper post here at the Losco? I'd go with the one up. Uh, I do wish it had a customizable band. However, this is the lightest weight dropper post we have in the store, so I love it. Lightweight and affordable. All right, Alex, what do you think? Best value dropper post. One up. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> hey Mike, what do you think is the best bang for your buck, best value dropper post out there? It's an easy one, Tor. I got three words for you. One up. Dropper, post, V2. <laughs> we got there. <laughs> All right, Adam, what do you think is the best bang for your buck dropper post? Probably one up dropper, got one on my bike. All right, Steve, uh, what do you think is the best bang for your dropper? Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. What do you think is the best bang for the buck dropper post, Steve? One up. Well, there you have it. Everyone here at the Lost Co is on board with the one up V2 dropper being the best bang for the buck dropper post. And considering it starts at $200 with as many features as it has, it's really hard to disagree with them. At the time of filming this, the two shorter length options, the 90 and the 120 mil, only cost $199.50, while all of the longer options, the 150, the 180, the 210, and then this big old 240, they cost $229.50. Compared to something like the Fox Transfer Factory, cost $359, almost 50% more. These offer a way better bang for your buck option. And really there's not a huge difference out on the trail. This might be a little smoother just because it's got the Kashima coating and all of that. But if your wallet's feeling a little bit lighter these days, you might wanna save some cash and go with this option. But there are also some way cheaper options out there on Alibaba or maybe other weird corners of the internet. But those don't really have the track record of the one up and this is just a consistent post that is gonna work no matter what. When you're looking for the best value dropper post, you're not necessarily looking for the absolute best performing post or the absolute cheapest post, but rather the one that straddles that line right in the middle and gives you the best of both worlds. Well, OneUp's V2 dropper is one of the most affordable posts on the market, and it also has some of the best specs of any dropper post. So let's check out some details. First of all, this post will fit on basically any modern mountain bike. They come in 27.2, 30.9, 31.6, and 34.9 mil diameters. And they come in a variety of lengths. Anything from an itty bitty 90 all the way up to an absolutely massive 240 mil of drop with 30 mil increments in between them. But each post also comes with two spacers that you can install to drop the travel by either 10 or 20 millimeters. So for example, your 210 mil post is also a 200 and a 190 mil post in case 210 is a little too much drop for you. That opens up a whole world of sizes, which means there should be an option for 99% of the riders. OneUp knows that riders come in all sorts of sizes, so by having both the longest and the shortest dropper on the market, there should be something for just about everyone. Hey guys, I'm Mike, I'm the owner of The Lost Co, and I'm just popping by to remind you that we don't just make super cool videos, we also have a full service bike shop with a super dialed online store with the parts that you need to have fun on two wheels. TheLostCo.com is super easy to navigate, 
has a live inventory to see exactly what we have in stock on the shelves and ready to ship. Shipping is free over $49 in the USA for most parts. Plus we have same day shipping for orders placed before 2.30 p.m. Pacific time on weekdays. Bah, woo! Plus, we have a 60-day return window with free return shipping. Plus, when you contact us, you'll actually talk to a real rider who knows what the heck they're talking about. Give us a shot, you won't be disappointed. Now for my favorite feature of this post and why I personally run it. This dropper has the absolute shortest stack height of any dropper on the market. What does this mean? Well, by having a super short collar, seat rail clamp, and cable actuator, no other post will give you more travel relative to its overall length than the one-up dropper. This means that if you want to get a 180 millimeter dropper post from another brand, but it doesn't quite fit in your frame, there's a good chance that one up's 180 millimeter post will fit. And even if it still doesn't quite fit, you can shim it down with the included 10 or 20 mil spacers to get the saddle right where you want it. The last thing that you need to know is how easy this is to service. The only tool that you might not already have lying around to service this thing is a strap wrench. But besides that, it's just wrenches and Allen keys to dive into this thing and freshen up those seals and oils. I know we're all trying to save a bit of cash these days, so for those of you who are at-home mechanics, this will make it super easy for you to keep this thing feeling brand new for as long as you own it. Well, that's about it from us today. If you want to get one of these 1UP V2 dropper posts, come on over to thelostco.com and you'll get free shipping on any of these posts or any other order over $49 in the United States. Thanks so much for watching another one of our videos, and if you like what you saw, hit that like button and subscribe for more. See ya!